Hey, what's up, my crowns of tiaras? Welcome to Etoxic Tea Lounge. Everything in this video was allegedly. Let's talk. We got Jada Wade's sister Jasmine, Sierra Backlash from Chris Brown. Okay, Carlissa. We got Krishan and Blueface, and we got some Kodak Black. Now, this is Jasmine. Okay, this is Jada Wade's sister, and she's also in a relationship with Six Hundred Breezy. Yes, I said it correctly. She says this: "My man, my man, my man," and she posted up this picture. Now. Look at the person comment. We don't do deadbeat sis. But anyways. Now look what she had to say. Um, Girl, one thing y'all know. I don't play about them kids. Period. If that was the case, I would never. Be for real. Y'all just be talking. He take care of his real kids for sure. I watch him. So she's saying she witnesses this. Okay. Now the person says, oh, I was just going off with the being posted before. She talking about. Um, Queen Key. Tell her to do the DNA test. We be there. She also says we talked privately. She added Key is Queen. Now, this is Key is Queen. This is his alleged baby mom, his baby mom, whatever the case may be, because, you know, clearly something's going on in the waters, okay? Now, Miss Queen blocked me on Twitter, of course. I don't even know when this was, because y'all know people be blocking me, because I be saying stuff or asking questions. Now, she says... It's something about getting princess treatment from a street guy that just makes me want to risk it all. Okay, so she basically saying this. This was three days ago. She also says he belongs to me and she's showing his tat that he just got. 600 Breezy seems like he has a lot of stuff going on over there on his side. So I don't understand what these women would see in him. A lot of women, let's talk about it, would know about a toxic man the antics, alleged things going on, or facts of things that's going on about this man and still will want to be with him and take it. Risk it all, like she said. But at the end of the day, that's her decision. She will have to go through what she go through when it comes to him and all the baggage that comes along with Mr. 600 Breezy. Now, as of right now, I do not know if King is Queen is going to respond, but we shall see. Now, Miss Sierra has been getting a lot of backlash on the internet because she's doing a collab with Chris Brown. As if she's the first or the last woman that's going to collab with Chris Brown in the industry, all right? Let's get straight into it. He posted up this. New video alert, Sierra, Chris Brown, how we roll out now, okay? That was like in a raw. Now, my thing is this. We already know he made his mistakes. He had his bad decisions. He got issues, okay? But business and personal was two different things. So I don't understand why people keep bringing up his personal life. Like, if it affects them. This is gross. Seriously, we are gonna act like he's an acceptable collab partner? Like, we don't have memories, okay? woman no problem raging crackhead welcome colorist that ain't no problem i guess we draw the line at being gay trans as a big joke in our community every time an artist especially female collab with this man i wonder how they're going to explain it to their children how do you explain to them that you don't care about his long rap sheet or his victims because he can dance and carry a tune the whole sierra and chris brown music video is one of the most fun unique concepts i've ever seen so well executed. So these are the positive ones that we're going to get into. I'm gagged. They devoured for real. And then he added Sierra and Chris Brown. If y'all seen the video, let me know. Now, seeing Chris Brown and Sierra dance together finally just made me want more. Okay? My thing is this, like I said. People are really out here taking things personal as if Chris Brown personally did something to them. This is business. He is talented. He's not never going to go nowhere. A lot of people in this industry hasn't even been canceled, okay? Like, it's still going to be going on. So if you decide that you don't want to, you know, listen to somebody's music because you feel some type of way about their personal life, then that's on you, okay? Because talent is talent, music is music, and it is what it is, okay? He clearly was getting help for what he was doing, and Rihanna not paying attention to it, the other female not paying attention to it, the other woman that lied on him that, you know, was trying to sue him and it got, uh, it got dismissed, a whole bunch of stuff. So it's either it was false or it was true. But at the end of the day, he's still Chris Brown and he's going to make his money, period. Now, I don't 
agree with things that he's done, okay? But there's a lot of things that I don't agree with when it comes to celebrities and their personal life. But me, I'm never going to stop listening to somebody's music. I'm sorry. I'm a music head. And when I listen to certain music, I'm not like, oh, my God. I'm not thinking about the person's allegations or the things that they did. That's not what I do. When I listen to music, I listen to music. <laughs> that's it. So stop dragging it. Y'all reaching. And that's just my opinion. Not only did Carlissa in my previous video, all right, of a piece of a live clip, she talking about how she raised Jaden this and she did that. And it's just like it was a sick message to put out on the internet, in my opinion, okay? And she doesn't, she doesn't stop. So after that, regarding this video with her saying, Krishan, you know, um, spending millions on an Airbnb she cannot afford and telling Jaden Alexis to clearly just be controlled by a man. Why? So she reposted this, okay? Blueface mom goes at Krishan for living in an Airbnb. Also says, I taught Jaden well. She says, y'all ain't picking up what I'm putting down. Girl, what are you putting down? Like, that was a sick message, okay? Now, she also says this. Now, Hollywood Unlocked put Blueface says he will not be a Debbie dad. Hopes Krishan Rock gives him the baby after birth. She says, child, I want to explain nothing to these mother effers about your kids. These, they was laughing when she bust your head at the white meat, okay? Now, she also has a question. Do y'all feed y'all kids first or your man first? This question doesn't apply to those on Section 8. Why does she always do this? Like, it's weird. I'm putting my kids first. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're my mom. I don't care if you're my husband. I don't care if you're my boyfriend. I don't care if you're my brother. I don't care if you're my sister. I don't care who you are, okay? I don't care if you was the president. I don't care if you was a celebrity. I don't care about who you are. My kids is always going to come first. I don't even care if it comes to a meal, if it comes down to sitting at the table. I don't care about none of that. My kids come first. My kids come before me. So what makes you think that I would put my kids before a man? This girl be giving out this information and these advice that is stupid to me. This is the same woman that claimed that she didn't know who her baby daddy was at the time. This is the same woman that's out here with a married man talking about this white woman was in his phone sending news and all type of stuff, y'all. So why are we getting um, advice from her? Yeah, you of age, and I feel like you don't act your age. I feel like she's kind of petty and she's she loving this inter internet stuff, but she's just talking out the mouth at this point because... She talked about Kashawn Rock, then she's friends with Kashawn Rock, sticking up for Kashawn Rock. Then she's um up Jaden's butt, and then she's talking about Jaden as, like, it's weird. How do y'all feel about this situation? Because to me, like I always say, that Blueface mom is always going to say what she got to say as she should because it's her mouth, it's her opinions. Nobody can stop her or force her to stop. She going to say whatever she want to say. But that doesn't give us the not the right to give opinions about her and the things that she put out. Let me know down in the comments below, how do you feel about what she's saying? Now, Miss Krishan Rock, y'all already know she already admitted that her and Blueface still see each other. They still messing around. We already seen them in, you already seen him in the bed not too long ago on her live. She wanted it to be known, right? But Krishan Rock is talking about Baddies East now. And when I tell you, womp womp. I said we can't be getting into it on the road because um, I'm going to need you to hit up Because I can't get nobody pregnant. Right. Girl, you're pregnant. You shouldn't be getting into it with nobody. Ain't nobody but that ain't stop us from, that ain't stop us. So let me get this straight. You're on live with your sister telling her that you want her to beat girls up for you on a show. A show that you're not even supposed to be on. You're like almost about to pop and give birth. What you gonna do? Give birth and your water break or something happens when you're on a show? You're not thinking like a mom. I'm sorry. Her mindset is not on mommy mode and... It's just sad and sickening to know that she's going to go on a show knowing it's going to be fights and all type of stuff. And then on top of that, have her sister try to fight for you. Well, you shouldn't even be up there. Why would you even want to put Tasecki through that? Like, it's weird. Down the line. Do you know the cast? Are you excited about the cast? Yeah, I see the cast. We litty. Uh, we outside. We outside. So, what's up? You was going to hit certain people for me because this one girl, she tried to set me up. Who? Do you I, don't know, I don't know if, if I don't know if I'm gonna figure it. We're gonna figure it out when we get there. What's but, in the cast? Yeah, I think. Oh, what's her name? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna name drop real quick. I'm gonna name drop on 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 on, on FaceTime. So yeah. allegedly there's a cast member that tried to set Krishan Rock up. We do not know what that means. She doesn't even want to say a name. But my thing is this, so she already has some type of animosity or some type of drama already walking into Baddies E. So it's given very much she needs to sit down. 
put up her feet and wait for the baby to come because she's doing a little bit way too much. Now, Blueface, of course, he goes on Twitter because that is like his favorite place to go or his IG stories. Now, Krishan Rock has said this, sub me so I know you thinking about me. We already know they go back and forth with the childish stuff online. He says, I hope she give me that baby instead of letting random people watch him while she fight on baddies. Remember the him, okay? Um, Y'all want me to neglect my child because of the circumstances so bad. Laugh out loud, sorry. I can't, I'm a man. If me wanting the best for my child makes me better, I've been better for six years then. I don't know if it's a boy or girl. I'm just hoping. Mm-hmm. He turned that around now. So you really think that Krishan Rock is going to leave the baby only with you, knowing that you're going to be around Jaden and Alexis, knowing that they don't get along, knowing something. That whole situation is going to get crazy, okay? On top of that, Blueface, you've been doing a lot of questionable things, okay, when it comes to parents and putting things online and asking your kids questions and trying to put stuff in it. It's just weird, okay? Now, we are going to see how everything unfolds when that baby get here, okay? Because she did say she blocked him, and she's going to unblock him when the baby get there, but we already know that's cap, all right? Because even if they are blocked, they still communicating online. Like, what? Let's talk about Kodak Black real quick, y'all, right? Because he recently has been seen on a stretcher entering a hospital. We do not know what is the cause. So this is the video. Now everybody is on Twitter and on Instagram posting this up saying, pray for Kodak. Because we know, listen, when I tell y'all. It's like... Now, a lot of his lives been like this. Seems like he's a little off. He's been ranting. It just doesn't look right. A lot of people are saying that he has been on some type of substance. Okay, we do not know. In this live, he's ranting. His eyes is bloodshot red. Now, I do not know if he's on anything, but a lot of people will go by the way he's moving, how he's acting, what he's saying, rambling about things. And in my opinion, I think he is on some type of substance. Do not know exactly what it is. But I do hope and pray that he does, you know, get it together because being on any type of any type of substance and being addicted is a, a bad thing a lot of people are out here that just smoke k2 or you know want to smoke blunts with people and they spike it and then you're just crazy and just addicted for the rest of your life it's just just be careful out here y'all for real for real no matter what y'all going through running to substances is not the way to go because after you do the substance your problem is still there so you should try to do something else to try to get your mind off of things, trying to change the situation if you're going through anything. Because you already know life is crazy in itself. So running to substances is not going to be the answer, okay? It might numb you. It might get your mind off for four seconds. But once that thing fades down everything's gonna be still there okay and I know a lot of people that have been on substances okay and they thought that their problem was gonna be fixed and it hasn't okay um even me a long time ago when I was younger and before I had my kids and stuff I used to always run to drinking because I thought that but guess what once that little buzz and what's that little thing wore off the problem was still there so yes I'm speaking out of experience. It doesn't do anything, okay? And if you understand and relate, let me know down in the comments below because nobody's life is perfect, okay? Nobody has this perfect life. Even celebrities, you think because they got all that money, you think that everybody's happy? No, they go through things too. But anyway, I love y'all. I said everything that I had to say in this video. And until next time, ta-da-da.